Qatar has set up this uh, ocean and climate platform uh, with partners, with so today 80 partners involved, uh, to, to make sure that the very few people who talk about the ocean today on the planet gets together to be stronger and to be to be to have more weight into the into the climate debate. It is important that the ocean takes its place in the climate debate because the ocean is a very big part of the climate system. So if the ocean becomes sick, the climate system can collapse. One of the most surprising things is um, to what extent the climate and the ocean communities have worked on their own purposes, their own uh, functions, without uh, looking to each other. We cannot protect our planet if we don't protect its oceans, which cover 70% of its surface area. The ocean can be a major ally in the fight against climate change. The ocean situation now has too often been, been overlooked in climate negotiations. Our duty as a momentous week begins uh, for our climate, it is to remember what, what it actually involves. Only protected seas can help us address the climate change issue. I think now what we need to do is to link more oceans to climate change. And, and that, I think, is a duty in the next uh, two weeks that, that we have ahead, because the data has been given. Oceans are like a huge savings account and are fundamental for sequestration or, or, of uh, CO2. Whether we live near or far from the ocean, these issues impact all of us. They are important to our government as they are to all of us here. I have to say that personally, this is a, a very exciting initiative uh, because I'm a swimmer, a very avid swimmer. And uh, because the ocean is where I love to swim with my children. By talking this evening about the ocean, establishing the linkage between the ocean and climate change in the Because the Ocean Declaration, we seek to highlight the importance of the ocean in the climate change system, and of course, the much need that it has for us to care about it. Trying to get people to understand that what is happening is not about economics, it's not about economic growth, it's not simply about the, the environment, but it's about the survival of people. If nothing is agreed, if we do not do anything about climate change, then we, in the low-lying island countries, will be seriously under threat.